Good morning, dear ones. I hope you're well this fabulous Tuesday. I'd like to start looking at the 12 universal laws. We do understand that the universe does have laws, but many of us don't actually understand what they are. And we go through life a little bit blindly, um, sort of stumbling through and not understanding how the laws of the universe work. And I feel that it is important for us to discuss them here so that we all understand what the laws of the universe are and how they apply to us and how we can apply them. They are the 12 universal laws or principles by which everything in the universe is governed. And the universe exists in perfect harmony by virtue of these particular laws. Once you understand, apply and align yourself with these universal laws, you will experience transformation in every area of your life beyond that which you've ever dared to imagine. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of them today and we'll start talking about the first one and then we'll go through each and every one of them on a daily basis. Any questions, comments or queries are very, very welcome. And of course, bear in mind that one-on-one -on -one life coaching, holistic life coaching sessions are available. Just inbox me or WhatsApp me. So when we look at the 12 universal laws, number one is the law of oneness. Number two is the law of vibration. Number three, the law of action. Number four, the law of correspondence. Number five, the law of cause and effect. Number six, the law of compensation. Number seven, the law of attraction. I mean, everybody knows about that one because of the secret, of course. But no law exists in isolation. So although everybody knows that one, perhaps it hasn't necessarily worked for you because we need to look at the big picture and take into account all of the other 11 ones as well so they can all work together for us. Number eight is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Number nine is the law of polarity. Sorry, relativity, just like Einstein. <laughs> Number 10 is the law of polarity. Number 11 is the law of rhythm, and number 12 is the law of gender. So we will get to all of those, and they will assist us with understanding how our universe works, and also bear in mind that so above, so below. So there are a lot of correlations, and we will go into this as we get through this program. Um, we will understand that there's certain things that happen on a molecular level, and so they also happen on a universal level. And this has been a very, very interesting journey to discover how these things work from an energetic point of view and also correspond on a scientific point of view. So these universal laws are there whether you believe in them or not. They are there whether you take them into account or not, and they are working in the background um, and if we understand the laws of life, I think it'll be a lot easier to be able to either apply them to us or understand how they can work in our favor or how we can apply them in a way that helps with our transformation and with loving ourselves more and understanding ourselves and everybody else around us so much better. So as I said, the first law is the law of divine oneness. And the law of divine oneness helps us to understand that we live in a world where everything is connected to everything else. Everything is connected to everything else. Everything we do, say, think and believe affects others and the world around us. It's the law upon all of the others that, that we found use as a foundation to build all of the other laws on. And this law states that we're all connected through creation. Every single atom inside of you is connected in some way, shape or form to the rest of the universe that you move through. And this means that everything we do has a ripple effect 
and it impacts the collective, not just ourselves. So to call upon this principle of self-improvement, simply remember that your actions both matter and make a difference. So when we look at this on a, from a scientific uh, perspective and we look at DNA, so yes, we're taking this all the way down to grassroots level and we're not just looking at this from a spiritual point of view, but we're looking at it from a physical, scientific point of view as well. So that everybody understands that science and spirituality are not two different things. They are exactly the same thing expressed in a different way, in exactly the same way as religions are pretty much rules to govern a certain collective of human beings and to keep them safe at a particular time in history. It is unfortunate, however, that a lot of religions have not evolved over the years and still go back to writings and teachings that perhaps have been interpreted and translated incorrectly, specifically because the languages from which they were translated have various different uh, words for one thing, and then the language that they translated into has, has only one word. So the nuances of a lot of the aspects of a lot of teachings and scripture um, have not been translated into our understanding today. Completely separate issue. Let's go back to the law of oneness and understand that we all know that our DNA shares a certain amount of similar strands with other things, like for instance, chicken, bananas, chimpanzee. Okay, so we share 98% of our DNA with a chimpanzee. 26% of our DNA is shared with yeast. Yeah, the stuff that we put in our bread to make it rise. 18% of our DNA is shared with a weed. 44% with a fruit fly. 92% with a mouse. So do you understand that although we have, of course, DNA, we're all from that same tree of life. If we have a look at any science uh, or scientific program that explains the evolution of life, you will see that there is one tree of life on this planet. And ev each and every life force, life energy, all comes from the one, can I say the one sort of root system. A lot of you may have seen the tree of life uh, logos, wear it on an, a, a, a chain around your neck. Um, there are a lot of different um, ways to explain this but the reality of this is is that we all come from one life source on this particular planet there is not a different tree there are not two different trees or three different trees of life on this planet there is only one and we all come from this particular tree with different branches that come off so we know that all of the elements that are found on earth and in our own makeup are also found in the universe. <laughs> it's quite, quite interesting. It's not like uh, we have this special um, element that is only within us and that isn't found anywhere else or vice versa. All of the elements in the universe are found within us and on this planet, as far as we know, of course. And with regards to that, it is important to understand that the makeup is just slightly different, but if we are all one and one with the divine. No matter what your spiritual belief system is, it cannot be denied that we are one with everything. And that is why we are all connected. So what we do will affect others and the vibrations of this earth. Today, dear ones, it's Tuesday. Remember, your four agreements, your five Reiki principles. Love yourself, educate yourself, understand how the universe works, and you will be able to transform your life. Much love, dear ones. Have a good day.